Uh, well, actually, yeah. when I received the email that mm -hmm. uh, which said that uh, my uh, former classmate Yamasan right. was running for a uh, seat mm -hmm. in Kawasaki City uh, Council, mm -hmm. I was actually preparing a movie mm -hmm. uh, called Mental. Ah, okay. Yeah. I was preparing a, to, to shoot Mental, mm -hmm. which is a film about people with mental illness uh -huh. in Japan. And uh, I bought the camera, I bought my camera, and I was packing my suitcase. I see. And I was ready to go. Uh -huh. and, I, and then I received an email mm -hmm. okay. that uh, Yamasan was running uh -huh. uh, for a seat. And, uh, and uh, his campaign was happening while I was planning to be in Japan. I see. So I thought, well, I can shoot both. I see. So I shot campaign uh -huh. in about 12 days. And after, as soon as I finished shooting, mm -hmm. I moved to Okayama. And the next day, I started sh shooting mental. Oh, I didn't know. OK. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if I didn't shoot um, campaign, mm -hmm. my first film was going to be mental. OK, I see. Yeah, them. that's yeah. fine. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be somewhere I, I could understand the language mm -hmm. and also I could understand some sort of a cu cultural or social background mm -hmm. because I tend to put my characters in social mm -hmm. or, or, or uh, cultural background, uh, context. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I cannot make a movie about uh, somebody in a place where I'm not familiar at all. I see. Yeah. yeah. So this is another related question. Mm -hmm. You already talked earlier about the importance of keeping an open mind mm -hmm. because observation plays a key role in every step. Right. Is there something that you do on a daily basis, like just walking to the metro station, such ah. and such, in order to be perceptive? Maintain, maintain that? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, yeah, sometimes. Not every day. Not every day. Not every day, okay. but sometimes I do that. Um, mm -hmm. For example, uh, when, I, when I'm walking, walking on the street, mm -hmm. I decide, like, okay, for, for this block, uh -huh. I need to look at everything I see. <laughs> like, like a detective. <laughs> <laughs> everything, virtually everything. Okay. I need to be aware of everything, like, uh -huh. okay, as far, asphalt, uh -huh. the tree, uh -huh. uh, some details of uh, whatever, like people, mm -hmm. everybody, everybody, every people who are passing by, I need to look up the, the person's eye, eye, eyes, uh -huh. or I mean, that kind of thing, like, uh -huh. so, so that I won't just pass them. Yeah, uh, that's fascinating. And uh, because I struggle okay. quite a bit, like when I'm shooting, when I'm editing, I have a feeling that I'm kind of moving a large, large rock, mm -hmm. and okay. uh, or, or carrying a large rock. Okay. And and ugh. just howling it. Yeah, that's how I feel okay. when I made a campaign, mental, or theater one and two, or yeah. whatever. But peace. I don't. I didn't. I didn't feel I. I made it. It came to me, like it just happened. Um, I. Sh I, sh I shot. I don't. I don't remember. But I. The shooting was very little. Very very uh, limited number of, mm -hmm. of days. And uh, editing, it usually takes ten months to edit. Uh -huh. But. Um, piece I I edit in four days it came it came like and uh, yeah. I didn't feel I made it okay. um, so my ego right. um, wasn't there like it's like when I look at the film um, my ego I don't I don't feel that I, I mean, see. Yeah. So it's a special film amongst yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it says extra. Yeah, extra. Uh, yeah. Many people think that uh, uh, it's a 
it's extra because uh, because I I don't see too much importance to it. Right. But it's the opposite actually. Okay. I wanted to put uh, special meaning to it. Um, mm -hmm. I I feel like a gift. Uh, yeah. Well, some uh, I've never thought about it, but uh, one of the critics told me that uh, cats is probably my uh, the metaphor of of my being, like mm. as a filmmaker. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, cats yeah. are just roaming around yeah. and go anywhere they yeah. want, mm -hmm. and and they are curious uh -huh. and they enter people's life and. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, that's one way to look at. I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, one way is that uh, actually Frederick Wiseman doesn't want his works to be to be called observational. Oh, okay. He doesn't think his films are observational. But I think he's observational. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I believe in the power of observation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to. I wanted to use the word observation to mm -hmm. uh, to stress the importance of mm -hmm. observing. Okay. And uh, I think that observation is looked down upon in America partly because. Um, it has a connotation that it's it's uh, it's a being distant, like uh, detached, detached and yeah. distant and separated mm -hmm. observation. Like uh, ob to observe is to be separate mm -hmm. or, or indifferent. I see. Yeah. But for me, it's different. Uh, observation is more like a Japanese word kansatsu, meaning like close, like yeah, to. meaning looking and listening. Yeah. And uh, looking and listening is something that uh, we lack. So um, I I'm kind of uh, trying to redefine the uh, documentary mm -hmm. with the keyword observation, I see. which the which has been kind of used mm -hmm. in a different different meaning, mm -hmm. but I wanted to re redefine it. Mm -hmm. Also. Uh, Frederick Wiseman, um, uh, I love his works, uh, but uh, we are a very different person, I think. Um, the way he makes movies that, is that uh, he, he always try to cre create this kind of like a, a God's eye, like <laughs> yeah, he, never, yeah, he never appears in film, like mm -hmm. I've never heard him talking in, film, in his films. Mm -hmm. And uh, it creates a feeling that uh, you know you're witnessing something from a God's God's point of view. But in my case, um, I am always part of the observation, or I am part of the world which I am obser observing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's a very big difference, I think.